We are back with a special Today Food. Have you ever had a meal on vacation? It's so good. Days later, yep. months later, you just can't stop thinking about it. Well, a few months ago, when we took a trip down to Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, look at us at this table. We all sat down for an unforgettable dinner. I promise you, we are still talking about this meal. This was at the Sea Pines Resort. Well, what's funny is Craig is there now, and we have you here because Yay. you guys love the food so much. We just decided we decided to bring it here to Studio 1A. Chef Ben Harris is the executive chef at the Sea Pines Resort, and you're here to cook up a dish that we have heard. A we lot were about. obsessed with it. Everybody's yes. talking about it. So these were the two go-to dishes on your trip. So okay. we have the elote street corn, which is we we cut it into ribs, so it's really fun and easy to eat. And then we have the charcoal roasted shrimp. All right, let's so dig let's in. Let's do it. This. So basically, we're starting with some South Carolina corn. When it gets hot outside, the corn's sweet and it's nice. So that's when we like to cook it. Okay. So it's very simple. We've already started this, but you just want to pinch where the silt is and you just pull down. Okay. And the way you do this corn, um, we'd never seen it before because Dylan was trying to get the recipe and we were like, he should come on the show. We were like whispering to each other. <laughs> well, when we were planning the restaurant, we wanted to do something fun that you hadn't seen with local produce. Okay. So next step is we're going to give it a quick blanch just to tenderize it a little bit. And then the with TV magic here, we How have long? We, uh, one minute. Okay. Be so this is not a shave off the cob. This is a cut through the cob. This is a cut through the cob. Ah. So the trick is, anytime you have something daunting with a knife and you're uncomfortable, cut it in half. So instead of trying to whack it one time, you want to go right down the middle and come down. And then flip and it. And then turn it. Okay. Right. I see. Okay. It's much more. Perfect. So it'll be like a rib in some ways. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So then we're going to take the corn. We like to deep fry in a neutral oil. Obviously, make sure you keep the oil. Stand back. Have, a, have at it. Drop it in. Is it hot? Um, oh, yep. yeah. Oh, it's hot. So it's going to pop just a little bit. Okay. If you're more comfortable with an air fryer, you certainly can do it that way. Well, that's true. But you want to make sure not to overcrowd the pan because, okay. you know, you can have some overflow issues. Yes. As we slide down, that'll be in the oil for about two minutes. Try it. Yes. As wow. soon as it, it looks like octopus. Exactly. So now here's the thing. It's not a neat way to eat, but we're going for it. It's fun. Go it's for it. food. Uh -huh. So the, the next trick is it comes out of the oil. Mm. You have to bite around it. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're going to toss it in the tahini. We have our cilantro aioli. Wait, what's in there? Oh tahini, spicy, spicy, yeah. spicy seasoning. Yep. And it's, oh, it's got that's a little acid it. to it. Yeah, it's uh -huh. so a little cotilla cheese. This is incredible. Wow. Don't toss eat the rind. Eat the, yeah, mm. I ground it. Well, that? This is sort of healthy. <laughs> so on the plate here, this is the cilantro aioli. Oh my God. Which we, we have a recipe on the website now, and you can really interchange the cilantro for anything, whether it's roasted peppers or sun dried tomatoes. And so we're just going to hit that with just a little bit Wait, of fresh cilantro. Are you supposed to eat the whole thing or just? No, no, no. No, not the that's the thing. No. That's like, like a rib. rib. Like, like I a ate rib. the rind. I saw you. I was like, don't do that. <laughs> How many of you guys eat when you're down there? Uh, we couldn't stop. It's so good. I've never seen this done like this before. Mm -hmm. This is a triumph. So the cilantro lime, the recipe's on there as well, because yes, that's what does yep. it. Let's keep going to the shrimp, but I'm going to so keep eating this, this corn. Okay. Sure. So this mm. is a fun way to prepare uh, coastal South Carolina shrimp. Mm. I'm really, really passionate about our coastal South Carolina shrimp. Okay. Uh, it's it's sweet. It has a lobster-like quality to it. Mm -hmm. We have some Gulf shrimp here as well that are fantastic, but they have a more rich flavor. Okay. So I like to use those for a gumbo or shrimp and grit, something like that. But something like this, where it's just crisp, simple flavors, I yeah. get South Carolina shrimp. So okay. We take our shrimp that are peeled with the tail on, so we have a little tail a little on. Hand, tail on, so we have a little handle. Okay. We have a little bit of our hickory seasoning here. Okay. Hickory seasoning. Delightful. Hickory. Yeah. A little That's bit of our butter. toasted garlic butter. Ooh. And then fien herbs, <laughs> and the fien herbs are uh, it's chopped Italian parsley, uh, tarragon, and chives. Mm. And so the technique we like to use for cooking the right. shrimp. Cast iron, huh? Cast iron. And we like to put, like, I have a big green egg at home. Okay. Thank you. I like to put my cast I'll iron in that. my big green egg. Really? And then you start on real high heat. It's about 500 degrees. Shrimp goes down. Leave it alone for a minute. Turn it off and let the residual heat mm. finish the cooking process. For how long? Mm. One more minute. Oh, my God. Isn't that amazing? I was just talking about the green egg. Wow. Here we go. This so is phenomenal. Wow. So oh can we, my. the seasoning, because this is so good, can we make this too, or can we buy this? Where can we get that seasoning? Recipe on the website as well. You're such a giver. And like, this is... <laughs> you're such a giver? Chanel is like really no. into this. There are some people who come on, and they'll make the recipe, but some things they'll like, be like, sorry, oh, you. yeah, that's <laughs> in my family, cookbook, family and they don't really give it. You're like giving the goods. We want to. We want you to make it at home. You want to stay a couple more days? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And Craig, if you're watching, I hope you're oh, having this down there as well. We're right the now. family Thank for you. these recipes, Dude. all the recipes. He's giving it away. Right. Flash food. We'll be right back. My favorite. My Yo, favorite. This is, this so, is good. so good. Thank you. Mm.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.